might be wondering why I'm rocking this headgear. I'm inside a virtual Ford Fusion right now. This is the virtual reality technology that engineers use to decide where they want to put every knob on a car before it's made. And we're here to find out more about what use engineers get out of this. It comes down to the accuracy of tracking. So today, we're just tracking your head and we're tracking hands but we also do full body tracking as well. The real leaps and bounds have been jumping on the backs of you know, the gaming industries and Hollywood who's elevated this technology to a really high level. You see movies like Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Avatar and all those characters are you know, animated through the motions of real humans. That is a extremely powerful tool. We're no longer drawing it frame by frame. And we just use the same technology that allows us to immerse our designers, our stylists, and our engineers in a future model product two or three years before we actually have any physical parts. Viewing the product from the perspective of the customer or the passenger allows them to make choices that they would otherwise have a hard time making on a computer screen. And we go from virtual reality to the actual Ford Fusion. This is what the virtual reality helped create. When you're talking about human factors, which is a branch of ergonomics, the thing that makes your Apple phone so intuitive, the, the process, the flow you go through to navigate, you know, if you want to change your brightness setting or some setting, you usually don't need to look at a manual. So we invest a lot of time and effort into human factors. So products like our the MyFord Touch, you know, our touchscreen system, it's an intuitive interface that people can kind of flow through. Uh, can they reach this dial? Is this, you know, they're all evaluated to make sure our customers are sitting and getting the experience that makes them feel comfortable. We want people to, to love it for its design, not just the form and function of having a car. So this kind of technology facilitates that because we can sit in the product before, you know, freezing that design and making parts. All right, it's time to roll out of here. Messina.com. I'm Bridget Carey. Oh no, I have no legs. Oh my God. <laughs>